What are you up to? Uh, I am at the moment fuel mapping and ignition mapping this 2023 FS450. So that's uh, pretty much a standard engine. I haven't opened the engine yet. All we've done is put on uh, some DVR exhaust pipes uh, and a few other little bits and pieces that I don't want to go into. Um, but I'm just literally going through air-free uh, fuel settings, so throttle position against RPM and the same with ignition, throttle position against RPM. This is, this is what I do. It's best if I do it on an Excel sheet, um, but you can see there's loads of these little ones that I try. And then basically I put them into the maps here. Um, and you see that's a map in there. That's a ignition map, fuel maps. And then basically just run them on the dyno and see, see what works. Um, that's the beauty of uh, the Vortex ECU. We've got a lambda sensor as well. Come around here, watch yourself, because you'll fall over all the wires. Uh, so there's a lambda sensor there. Um, again, connected to the to the dyno, and that basically records our air fuel ratio, so we can see how the engine's performing and make changes accordingly to get the air fuel ratio correct. Um, there's other things I've got in the pipeline to uh, help with the ignition timing, and then obviously once I've mapped all of this, then I'll open the engine and start tuning the uh, the engine itself. Um, probably clean up the cylinder head, maybe a high compression piston. Plus a few other little bits of different intake manifold. But yeah, that's basically the hours and hours that I spend on a dyno trying to get a tiny little bit more horsepower. These are the runs we just did. We did three runs all the same. We actually did four. One was a control. Hang on, let me just put that puppy down. Um, you have to sort of pick and choose um, the ones out of this. So I know that the last run's normally the best, that one. Uh, this means absolutely nothing to anyone. Um, however, if I put that one in, the blue line, which you can probably hardly see, that's where I started with the power yesterday. So you can see that everything I'm doing is actually making a tiny bit of progress because we've gained 60.5, we're now at 62.6, so we've gained a couple of horsepower and that's a long way, that's 7,500 RPM all the way up to, uh, well it tails off a bit there, but that's 11,000 there. So that's, that's some good gains there, you'll feel that on the track, um, and that's what we're, we're aiming for. This is the fueling down below, I've gone a little bit too lean there, um, but this is looking pretty good. Um, but maybe I want to richen it up a little bit. So again, I'll, I'll adjust that and do another run and, and keep working like that. And that's basically what I do. Okay, I'll ask me three questions about the dyno or this. Oh God. Quickly. How much time do you spend down here? Oh, every day at the moment. Does it actually make any improvement? I've just shown you that, so yes it does. <laughs> Will the rider complain? 
Always. <laughs>